Club Sports Thursday. Local players were handsomely rewarded at the recent Optical Solutions Table Tennis Tournament held at the University of Technology. Renato Brown tells us more. It is rare for table tennis players to look forward to any significant returns from local competitions. But at the weekend, there was more than just bragging rights to play for, as there was literally money on the table for the top performers at the Optical Solutions Table Tennis Tournament at UTEC. Reigning national champion Kane Watson took home the biggest prize on the day as he pocketed over $100,000 after winning the men's open 11-8, 11-5, 11-5 over Mark Phillips. To have support, I mean, carry the support a long way. It helps build the foundation and carry the sports towards, I mean, the great heights because there's definitely a talent here in Jamaica across all the sports and sometimes the minor sports struggle but with this, I would can help be a push forward and help the sport of table tennis back to where it needs to be. The Women's Open was a family affair as under-19 girls champion Senaye Lewis defeated Gianna Lewis by three sets to one, coming away 12-10, 8-11, 11-6, 11-6 winner. Well, this is my sister, Gianna Lewis. Um, she's a very difficult opponent. She was undefeated in the women's, uh, just like me, until we arrived at the finals together. We both trained very hard and were balancing school and work and table tennis training. So it was an interesting match. It definitely wasn't easy. Um, I had a slight advantage over her opponents because I trained with her, so I know how she plays and what to do, and so does she. So it was a good match. It was pretty tough, but um, yeah, I came out on top. In one of the most exciting matches of the tournament, Aziza Johnson prevailed over Joel Butler and the boys under 19 in five sets, winning 11-6, 6-11, 12-10, 4-11, 11-6. I mean, he's a tough opponent. Um, I train with him all the time, so I was a bit familiar with him, but that's why um, I won the match because I was pretty familiar with him and I just used that to my advantage. Logan Royce was the boys of the 13 winner, beating G. Marcus Smith at three sets to one, 12-10, 6-11, 11-9, 11-5. I have to give thanks to God, first of all, my parents for driving me and stuff like that, carrying me around to tournaments and training sessions. I also give thanks to my coach, Dale Parham, biggest coach in the world. Yeah, I think he's the best. Royce, however, lost 13-11, 9-11, 5-11, 7-11 to Brian Blake in the boys under 15 category. I was playing a bit lazily because uh, I was I, I didn't warm up properly, but I wasn't I didn't expect more, but I didn't expect less because it was a very good opponent. The tournament also gave valuable match practice to players who will be representing Jamaica in the various age group regional competitions. Bernardo Brown for TVJ Sports.